Beam down smoke. Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Nalo and today we're going to be talking about CSGO sites, trading sites, marketplaces, you name it. I wanted to basically make this big site guide video where I just go through and give my opinion about each individual site and hopefully I can shed a little bit of insight into what sites are able to be used for specific purposes and maybe it'll give you a better idea of what site you want to use to purchase your CSGO skins. Now naturally this video is not sponsored. I made sure not to take a sponsor for this video just so I could give my complete unbiased opinion about all of these sites. So you can trust what I'm saying here. I'm not paid to say any of this. I'm just giving my opinion on all these sites in absolute full honesty so you guys can get a good idea of how they work. One more disclaimer before we begin. I'm not actually going to be talking about every single CSGO site. I'm just going to be talking about the main really big ones and kind of give my opinion on them and how they work and stuff like that because I feel like going over every site is not really important. Some of them are pretty much close to duplicates of others. And one more thing, this video is pre-baked about 10 days in advance because I'm actually going to be on a three-night trip when this video goes live. So if you see any prices that look maybe a little bit weird or if any of the sites are down or changed or whatever happens I'm gonna try and update it as close to possible but obviously I need to predict this because I wanted to have a video go out when I was gone on the trip and without further ado kind of a long intro let's go ahead and get started so the first site I'm gonna talk about is cs.money so cs.money is a very popular site probably the most well-known site in all of CSGO third-party site history and it's kind of an interesting one so it's been around for a long time and obviously they don't have a lot of competition because their inventory is so large and while they do have a large inventory their prices are just absolutely greedy I have to admit I can't tell you guys anything else other than that like they're just greedy prices straight up they undervalue your items like crazy and they overvalue their own items like crazy so it's not really a great trading bot to use there are other trade bots that have better rates for example and uh, you can find some occasional snipes on there their auction house is pretty good actually and so there are some interesting times on cs.money that you're going to want to use it for but in general, it's not really an overall good trading bot, and there are going to be better options. Overall, though, I am a pretty big fan of their auction house, and I also think some of the snipes you can get on there are actually still pretty decent. The other nice thing about them is they're one of the only trade bots that actually overpays for float or stickers, and a lot of other trade bots don't do that, so it is a good option for some of those people out there that maybe have super hard to trade stickered items, and they might want to just trade them on CS Money, for example. Even though you're going to be losing out on value, they do at least overpay for it, which is something that no other site really does. So in that respect, they do gain a little bit of extra pointage from me, but if other trade sites were to actually do that and overpay for stickers, I think they'd be totally out of that. As for an overall rating, I'd have to give CS Money about a 4 or 5 out of 10. The main thing here is it's just supposed to be a trade bot, and it doesn't really do that job all too well. They're just a little bit too greedy with their prices, and I think they could easily cut down their profit margins and still make a lot of money off of people and actually gain, you know, probably even more money because more people would actually trade their skins on the site. Another kind of weird thing about it is how laggy it actually is and how much RAM it actually uses from Chrome. A lot of people were considering that it might have been a crypto mining site, and I, I mean, that's not totally out of the range of possibility. They did respond to that, I believe, but it was kind of vague, so you never know. And it does end up lagging your game if you have it open in the background, which kind of sucks. So for those of you out there that maybe don't have the greatest PCs, a lot of you probably won't be able to even load the site effectively. It does load for a very long time, which is also kind of a negative point. The main thing there, though, is, of course, they have a huge inventory and it has to load a lot of that stuff. So you can give them a little bit of slack on that. Anyway, yeah, so that's my opinion on CS Money, and let's go ahead and move on to the next site. So moving on, we actually have two sites. This is going to be Bitskins and Skin Baron. The reason I'm talking about two sites here is because these are kind of hand-in-hand -hand with the way that our site works and their price structure and stuff like that. So yeah, Bitskins and Skin Baron. So the thing here with Bitskins and Skin Baron, I would say Skin Baron is a lot more of a European thing, and then Bitskins is a lot more of a North American and other regions kind of thing. And in general, they are pretty basic sites. I mean, they have decent prices. There's probably better prices you could find, but at the same time, there's probably also really good prices on Bitskins and Skin Baron themselves. So it's just something that you kind of have to check out if you're looking for a specific item and try to kind of compare the prices around and figure out which one's going to be best for you. Bitskins is pretty good about the deposit methods. They're actually a really good cash trading site. And I, I think in general, Bitskins is not bad at all. And their new ownership is working really hard to make the site really good. So that's good as well. Personally, I don't use Skin Baron a lot, but I would say that for those European audiences out there, it's going to be a lot better site than Bitskins. The thing here is there's just not a lot to say about these two sites. They're just very similar in the way that their price structure works. And they're also very generic, which is not really that bad of a thing. I mean, their prices aren't that bad. It's actually a pretty understandable site to use. And of course, their devs are working really hard, so you can't really knock them for that. I would say these both of these sites 
lights are, you know, really got their craft down to a T. And I would definitely say these are easily 8 or 9 out of 10. Some of their prices can be a little bit high on items, but also at the same time, some of their items are going to be lower priced than other places. So that's why I would give them such a high rating. All right, next up is going to be buff. So there's a little bit of an interesting aspect with buff here. So if you guys use buff, you might want to actually listen in pretty carefully here. So buff, I think, is probably the best place to go and buy items right now. You can get stuff for just absolutely insane deals, just so cheap, up to 50% off on a lot of items, which is just absolutely crazy. The site is just so, so good and so cheap on so many items, and their inventory is massive. Especially if you're a Kato trader, it's just such a great item. The other thing about it is that while it is not really localized too well in other regions, it does have a lot of really good features such as the inventory valuation and the sticker search and stuff like that. Those are all going to be super good factors and the mobile app also works very nicely as well. The mobile app is actually a lot better localized than the website itself is, so if you are kind of having problems with the translation, I would definitely recommend using the mobile app. It also makes it very convenient. It's probably one of the only third-party marketplaces out there that actually has such a good working mobile app. So, you know, really good stuff there. Buff is just overall a really, really great site. So the interesting thing I was talking about is that there actually is a way to deposit on the buff without being a Chinese resident, which can give you even better deals because you won't have to take percentages off for buying Arcanas, for example. And I don't really want to talk about it in too much specific in this video here. So I'm actually going to put up on screen a tutorial that a user named Kenny Yes made in my Discord server. And if you want a more direct tutorial on that, just join my Discord and we'll try to help you out getting it set up. I believe they have already deposited using this method and it has worked perfectly fine. So you do have to give them a lot of your information. So that's a little bit sketchy, but it does actually work. And you know, that's a good thing. It's gonna give you a lot better deals. So I believe there is actually a way to do it. There's a method you're just gonna have to figure it out yourself. I haven't personally used it. I don't have any plans to use it, but it's out there. Overall, I really can't give buff anything less than a nine out of 10. I would only take off the point for the localization problems with the website. But other than that, it's, you know, very clean. Obviously the API key thing is a little bit of a concern, but there hasn't been any actual verified problems with the API key thing. So I wouldn't really consider that too much of a problem. I would just take off one point for the issues with the localization on their website. But other than that, it's a really solid site, insanely good deals, and you know, you can't just beat them. Buff also features a really solid customer support. They're very active on Twitter, which is also very good. They get issues resolved extremely quickly, and I've seen pretty much no problems with them at all. So really solid job there as well. So this next section is dedicated to the alternate trade bots. This includes Traded.gg, CSGO XO, Swap.gg, for example. So these are all going to have alternate inventories to CS Money, which is not a bad thing. They just have different inventories. They are going to have a lot better rates than CS Money, but again, their inventories are going to be a little bit more lacking. CS Money obviously has the best inventory out of any site. So they are going to win in that aspect. But uh, if these sites had better inventories, I think they would easily overtake CS Money. That's a very hard thing to accomplish though, especially because CS Money's inventory is just so far out there and so much better. But there are a lot of snipes you can make on these other sites that you're not going to be making anywhere close to on CS.Money. So they're definitely good sites to check out. Now Swap.gg specifically also has a marketplace and their marketplace is really good as well, 5% seller fees. And while their inventory is not that large, there is a lot of really good deals on items and it's definitely something you wanna check out. I would say as a whole, all of these sites are going to be really solid to check out and it's just something you're going to have to do yourself and kind of just experiment with their prices and figure out what's the best option for you and there's a lot of snipes on these as well so if you have some extra balance to throw around you might want to go check out these sites and try to look for some sticker snipes or something along those lines and you might find something good. I would specifically rate swap.gg a 9 out of 10 easily. Their site is just absolutely incredible. Their the inventory is a little bit lacking which is why I would take off the point but other than that like it's a really solid site. I really like their UI. You, some people aren't really a huge fan of their UI, but I think it's a really solid one. And as for the other sites, CSGO XO and Loot Pharma, for example, Loot Pharma I would probably give around a 7 out of 10. Their inventory is a little bit lacking and their pricing is pretty confusing at times, and they do have a lot of incorrect pricing a lot of the times, but overall not a horrible trade bot. Uh, moving on to CSGO XO, they're kind of just a solid one. They, they don't really have much of an inventory. I'd probably give them a solid 7 out of 10 as well, just for the inventory purposes. And I would also move on to, of course, Traded.gg, which I would probably give around an 8 out of 10 because there's a lot of good snipes on there. So moving on to another site here that I wanted to specifically highlight, and that's going to be SkinK, formerly known as Skin Bay. A lot of people were making memes about their name, but I actually think SkinK is a better name than Skin Bay. I do think Skin Bay, like, kind of rolls off the tongue and a lot of people got used to it, but Skin K actually makes a lot of sense 
sense if you know what a K is. I feel like a lot of people don't know what a K is, so they kind of were like, oh, that's a weird name, but I don't think it's that weird. So Skin K is actually a really solid site. They have an incredible amount of really good deals. They have a lot of really good sticker items that you can buy for cheap prices. They have a pretty wide range of deposit methods. No PayPal deposits, unfortunately, but other than that, you know, pretty solid deposit methods. They have a really good UI, like an insane UI, probably one of the best UIs out of any third-party marketplace out there. So I'd really give them a lot of points for that. Localization is really good as well, despite them being in, I believe, Germany. So a really, really good site for sure. And I would definitely rate them at least an 8 out of 10. I would take off a little bit of points just because their inventory, again, a little bit lacking, but it's actually not that bad and a really solid site to check out for sure. All right, guys, two more sites to highlight here and then we'll be done with the video. I wanted to make this one as quick as I possibly could, but also try to get the information out to you in a clear and concise way. So anyway, the last two sites, the first one is going to be CSGO Float. So CSGO Float is a newly launched site, sort of newly launched at least, and they actually are a really good site. I feel like a lot of people have not checked them out enough, and I just think they're a really good site overall. They have a pretty solid inventory, a lot of really cool rare float and sticker-based items, and they have a ton of features that no other site actually has. For example, they actually have access to their own float database, which actually allows them to rank items and specifically show you the rank of items in your inventory and also on the site itself. So you can see item ranks and different information about the items that you're not going to be able to see on other sites, and I think that's a really cool feature of them. Their prices are really solid. They also feature Stripe as a payment method, which is a lot better than G2A Pay. And so overall, just a really awesome site. I feel like a lot of people didn't give it the time of day that it deserved, but it's just such an incredible site. And I really think it should be used a lot more. I think it's really good for the English audience and it's a really good site for the people that are not in China to buy like rare circuit items, for example. Now, a lot of people have concerns about their inventory being small, and while it is admittedly small in comparison to other sites, I think the main thing with CSGO Float's inventory is it's very specialized. There's a lot of very specific float items, ranked items, and also very good sticker items, which I think puts them in a very specialized category in terms of their inventory. So I'm actually not gonna knock off points for their inventory. I think it's a very specialized site. Their prices are obviously set by users. Some of them are going to be a little bit high but I actually think there's a lot of good deals on there as well and the other really nice thing about CSGO float that I thought was really awesome was their UI just a really simple clean UI they have a lot of really good search options as well probably one of the most accurate and really in-depth search options that pretty much no other site actually features so I think they're a really awesome site and if you haven't checked them out yet I would totally recommend it I'm not sponsored by them in any way I was not sponsored to make the first video I made on them either I just think they're an amazing site and they're definitely something you should check out if you're interested in it I'm gonna be honest with you I can't find a single problem with the site because their inventory is specialized and not necessarily just small. So in that sense, I would actually give them a 10 out of 10, like honestly. I think they're probably the best site you can use for CSGO item buying pretty much anywhere. And I honestly think a lot more people should use it. The final site we're going to talk about is going to be CS.Deals. This is just an absolutely incredible site. I have a lot of really high praise for them as well. Their prices are just absolutely incredible. You can buy Arcanas cheaper than you're pretty much going to get them anywhere else if you're not buying off of Buff directly. And the, there is 1% seller fees, so it incentivizes a lot of people to sell their items for good prices on there. And they also have a trade bot. The trade bot's not as good, but it's still a nice feature, and sometimes you can find some okay items on it. And as for their marketplace, it has a really solid inventory. I wouldn't compare it to CS.Money's inventory, but it's definitely in the same kind of universe, and it does have a lot of items on there. Also, a lot of really good sticker items that you can get for good prices as well. So CS.Deals, I would say, is probably the most consistent site, and it's also one you want to go to for buying cheap Arcanas, especially if you're going to go sell those Arcanas on buff. Their UI is a little bit confusing, but it's honestly not that bad, and their KYC procedure procedure is pretty painless as well. Overall, I would give CS.Deals probably an 8 out of 10, even though they are a super consistent site, and I would recommend them for buying Arcanas on out of any other site on the entire marketplace. I would recommend CS.Deals for the Arcana method, but I wouldn't really recommend them for their trade bot, for example. So I would say there is some improvement they can make there, but overall, I think it's a really good site and definitely also something to check out, especially if you're buying Arcanas. Also, because I think people are going to bring it up, I'm also going to just briefly mention DMarket. I said there was only two more, but I also wanted to to just briefly mention DMarket just because I think people are going to bring it up. I think DMarket is a good site and has really solid prices as well, but the site just has a lot of confusing features that I would honestly say are a little bit just extra. Although their prices are really solid and it is also a good site to check out, I would say just be very comparative with your analysis on it. Figure out what the best prices are going to be. Sometimes it is going to be on DMarket and figure out what you want to do from there. Honestly, I wouldn't like recommend DMarket over other sites, but it is still a pretty decent one. Okay, so that's it for this video. Hopefully it was enjoyable and hopefully it gave you a pretty good understanding of how these sites work. Again, not sponsored at all by any of these sites. I just wanted to talk about them in general to hopefully give you guys a more educated idea of how they all work. I'm going to be back for my three night trip pretty soon here. 
So I'll let you guys know when that happens. Thank you guys so much for taking time out of your day to come watch this video. If you made it all the way to the end, it's been a little bit of a longer video, but again, I hope it was actually helpful. So thank you guys for checking out my channel. Thanks for all the support. If you guys want to leave a like on this video, that would be much appreciated. And I would also like you guys to check out the subscription button because I do give you the best and fastest investment tips and tricks for CSGO marketplaces anywhere else on YouTube. So thank you guys once again for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to check out all the social links in the description below. And obviously no sponsor link this time around. Anyway, guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you all next time. Peace.